All right, hi guys, and welcome back today to the third episode of Cox and Cocktails. We took a little break. We got some new camera equipment, a new mic, back and better than ever. And a second episode with my brother, and we're gonna talk about all things Cox and Cocktails. Um, he's very straight, I'm very gay, so it's gonna be an interesting time. I'm only here for the tequila. He is only here for the tequila. Cheers to episode three of Cox and Cocktails. Cheers, bitches. So today we're gonna talk about weddings. You ready? Weddings. Weddings. Uh oh. Weddings. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I went to a thrift store and I came home with this, guys. Do you like it? It smells funny. It's vintage. What the fuck? I'm gonna need more of this. Do you like my dress? I think I'm gonna wear a dress on my actual wedding day. It's trendy. It's trendy, the dress? Yeah. I'm, really? shocked, I'm shocked m like more people don't wear wedding dresses around. Really? Yeah. I honestly would it. I mean, besides it not fitting me at all, I would wear it more often if I could. Where are your boobs? I don't know. There's nothing there. <laughs> I could stop it. How do you stuff your wedding dress? Oh, jeez. Leave a comment below. No, no, no. Do you want to get married? Oof. I don't know, man. I think, oh, oh, let's unpack that. I think, let's unpack. I think for me to get married, I really have to find like the right one, dude. Really? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, that make, I would hope so. Yeah, like, like, I hope you're not I, just trying to get married. I, I feel like I, I don't know, dude. That's like, like I feel like there's a pressure for girls anyway to get married quickly and like have kids. That whole like stigma. But I feel like guys don't really. It's not like there's a pressure on you. Yeah, nah. You know. Yeah. That society puts on us. I just I feel like if I get married, like it's got to be the right one. So it's once. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what's yeah, the it's like a lot of time and money what, to have. Yeah. What's the divorce rate? Like fifty percent? Yeah. I want to have like three weddings. <laughs> three weddings? Well, I just think you want to like, renew renew weddings or like well renew or di like a couple divorces are cool too. You probably make good money coming out of it. Too. I know. Like people, I would get divorced for a living. How do they do that? Do they do the bot? Do the bottoms get the money and the kids? Oh shit. I don't know. How do they do that that way, you know? Yeah, that's right? so that's true. That's genius, dude. You picked the right side. To bottoming. No, not to bottoming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a uh, Tinkerbell. Isn't that a fairy? Yeah. Wow. I am a fairy. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> oh, wow, your fat ass Bro, ripped it? I don't know what's ripping Whoa. in here. Oh, this. Are you wearing spandex? What? What, what are those underwear? They're bro? Under Armour. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and when do you want to get engaged? I don't know. That's all timing. So like, you don't have like a like an internal clock going on. Nah, man. I'm just I, I live pre in the present moment. So oh, like, here we go. He's always present. What? I'm not always present. <laughs> I want to get, if, if someone posts to me tomorrow, I would do it. I want to get married now. I want to move in with someone. I'm ready to, to tie the knot. I'm not kidding. I don't believe you. I want a husband right now. You would know. Yeah. You know. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. And I don't want a wife. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. You got to propose soon. <laughs> I want a wife from 10 kids. You want 10 kids? No, bro. I want maybe two. I want. I don't want any kids. I hate hate kids. Really? Yeah, I get really overwhelmed. No, I think I think it would be really cool to have like, you know, one or two kids. Mm -mm. No, I think two. Okay, so if a girl said, "Move in with me. I have a mansion. Let's get married tomorrow," you'd say no. How hot is she on a scale of one to ten? A six. How rich is she? Mm. She's enough to support you. Mm. Is she like? Pretty or like, 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 what's like a, I don't even know what a six is. <laughs> um, either way, so you wouldn't get married right now. I wouldn't not, not do that. I'd honestly, love to get married. Honestly, a six with a mansion, nah. <laughs> not a six with a mansion. Nah. Honestly, I just want to get I married, I think. I, I wouldn't do it. I, I like the security I, I of it. I wouldn't do it for money. There's nothing secure about it. A marriage? Yeah, what if you wait what if you wake up and you actually realize that you don't actually like the person? You thought you liked them. I don't I wake up and I don't like myself every day. That's that, what do you mean? Oh. What type of bachelor party do you want if you want one? Me, I'd want to be in Vegas with the boys. 
I don't support that. If I'm getting married to someone and they say, I'm going to Vegas with the boys, we're going to get strippers, divorced. Before we even get I've married. I've never said anything about strippers. Okay, so what are you going to do then in I've, Vegas? I, every time I've been to Vegas, I've never ever been to a strip club. Really? Because I can bet you a thousand dollars that is, I've, you've told me stories that are not like that. In Vegas, I've never been to a strip club. Bible. I never said went to the strip club. I said strippers in general. That girl wasn't a stripper. She went to my school. She you know what? Let's maybe, are you sure you want to tell the story? But dude, no, it was, <laughs> it was his 21st birthday. Kid went on a heater. Won us like five grand a piece playing craps. And then we were like, bro, like, we got, we got, like, we got to go drink with you. Like, you're a boy. Like, you just want us five grand. So you we just, drink, we're you just spoke in, in straight, and you completely lost me. You said heater, crabs, craps. craps. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Dice, bro. He just dice, dice, dice. He's met, he's screwing up the words. <laughs> okay, I have purpose. no he's idea. I have no idea what the fuck he just spoke about. It was crazy. But that girl just went to my school. She wasn't a stripper. Good for her. She had a great body. <laughs> we told, we said, we said it was his birthday. We said it was his birthday. And she was just down. And she was, she just started doing that for him in front of a room full of like 30 people. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. Arizona's crazy. Good for her. Wow. I wish I had that kind of empowerment. Yeah. She's probably drunk. Confidence. I know my, my first bachelor party is going to be renting a house in the Hamptons. And we're just going to all go there, go to a winery and get really fucked up. And that's pretty much it. And like a nice dinner. I don't even like going out. I like to go to sleep so early. All my friends can like attest to this that I go out and I leave by 12 because I'm always so tired. I mean, maybe like once a week I'll stay out really late, but like, uh, if not, I wanna be out for a while. Wait, that made no sense. Oh yeah, I put I put five shots in yours. Mm. Yeah, I, I would never like... pose to someone. I want them to pose to me. Yeah, but like, I don't know, dude. And I don't want our family around. Why? I want it to be just me and them in the mountains and they propose. Nice. Yeah. And then we have sex right after in the mountains. Wow, get ratchet and po like proposal. Ratchet, it's I'm proposed to, let's have sex. In the mountains. That'd be beautiful. So sex is your celebratory way of doing things? No, but I think that's fucking awesome to have sex on a mountain after it's got engaged. That's fair, the mountain does sound nice. And like but the wedding photographer will be like, oh what? and then and then there would be a whole photo shoot of that sex scene. Mm. On the mountains. That's intricate. Yeah. Imagine like a lion in the background. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Tell Are you waiting for marriage to have sex? Yes. Really? Yep, I'm a virgin. I knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Me too. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's so I'm wearing hot a fucking wedding it. dress. What are you like, doing? I'm sweating. We need more drinks. All right, so go make more drinks. Uh-oh, tequila. And we're gonna get married. All right, listen, I just poured the tequila and this. Can you get the, uh, the seltzer? I'm wearing a wedding dress, I can't. <coughs> you still haven't gotten the seltzer. <laughs> Give me those and go get the seltzer. I wonder what my window neighbor thinks of us. Joe. Hi, Joe. I probably think it's my wedding day. Shake this under your dress, it might look funny. <laughs> <laughs> I want a really intimate wedding. So for the wedding, I want, we're renting out a house in the middle of nowhere, like Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, a lot of land, really big house, and I'm gonna have my family, his family. We're gonna do dinners, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday's gonna be the wedding. And then after everyone leaves. That's actually kind of dope. It's cool, right? That is cool. Because it's like intimate. Because I don't want all these random people at my wedding. Like, what's the point? And then, so then after that, we're going to come back to the city. We'll be back in New York City for the week. And the following weekend, I'll have all my friends and family at a themed club party in New York City. And it's going to be like disco themed probably. And then after that, a week later, we're going to go on the honeymoon. And that's going to be a month long. So I haven't thought about it that much, but I have thought about it. It's a lot of sex. Cause I know that the girl that I find, she's gonna have the perfect idea for the wedding. Oh, that's so cute. And that'll be good. Like me, I have the perfect idea already. See, I have the perfect idea. I have the perfect dress too. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do if I showed up at my wedding with this dress? Like <sighs> everything's so dope in the wedding and I show up in this. What do you do? Show a little bit of leg at the wedding. 
Bro, do you realize how early in the morning it is? It's not, wait, it is 1155 and we are drinking. <laughs> Ew. Ew! On my white couch? On my wedding day? I think I'm allergic to this. We're gonna fight after this, I feel it. I'll be sad. Who would win? Who would win? The Me? guy wearing the dress? I can wear a dress and kick your ass. You can't even stand up straight right now. I can never stand up straight. <laughs> Stop. Also, wait. What? We should have them comment questions. Okay. And then we'll answer three questions randomly at the end of our next video. Okay. And so on. That's a good idea. You know? Okay. I like that. I Let's think, do it. I think we, and like they could be personal questions to us. It doesn't even matter what the questions are. Just random questions, comment them, and we'll answer three of them and shout <gasps> them out. Okay. On our next video. Wait, that's dope. Okay. So ask us three questions. Anything, right? Anything related? Anything. Sex, cocktails, cocks and cocktails. Personal routine. questions about us. Yeah. And we'll answer them next time. The All right, so cheers, guys. Thanks for watching the third episode of Cocks and Cocktails. Um, <laughs> we have a very good episode next time where I'll be getting and wearing makeup. And Kevin will be returning. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and turn your post notifications on because I have a very inconsistent posting schedule, so you never know when I'm gonna post. Usually Tuesdays and Fridays. But love you guys. Follow him on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow my TikTok, or don't. Thanks for watching. Peace.